Jamie Caldwell, One Minute Out. I want to talk to you a little bit about a question I've been asked uh, via social media. Obviously, people see my setup and what I'm running with the EOTech and then the EOTech 3x, and they see this mount that I'm running. This is a Wilcox mount. There's a couple different versions of it. What does it do? So it gives me one location, one location only, where your, uh, your EOTech, your holographic weapon site is gonna mount. And then the mount on one of these versions for your three by is one piece. So it's on, it's on the rail, it's part of the rail. But as far as operation goes, you just grab your three by, roll it over to the other side, no buttons to press. You don't have to pull back on it or do anything. It locks it into position, it stays right there. It's not going anywhere. Uh, and then when you need it, you just simply roll it back over and it's there for you. In addition to this, that's nice, is I wanted the ability to be able to take that off. So with a, there's a little uh, kind of a bayonet fitting, but you just push this bar down, your three by slides right out of the mount. You can throw it in your kit or you can take it off to be able to utilize it and look at something without having to point your weapon at it. When you want it back on, simply just slide it back on and it's locked in there. Something else you'll notice is it does have a place built in for to mount your flip up irons and then it comes with a block that you would mount up front to put your front sight post on so that everything again stays co-witnessed. Now I said there's a couple different versions of it and this is the EOTech G33 flip mount um, for the XPS. Here it is this is the one piece where everything is integrated this is the flip part that's on there nice and slick and this is the low profile version of it when i went to wilcox to, to talk about designing this for what i needed uh, i wanted it to be as low as possible i wanted it to be as close to bore i'm big about my sights being as close to bore as possible i run that 50 200 meter 200 yard zero and i want the flattest trajectory i can i don't want that big spacing between my groups and having your day sight as close to bore as possible is going to help with that so this whole system we wanted one place the EOTech would mount, one place that your three by went, because when guys just mount them on the rails, they might mount them in different places, different positions, and you end up seeing part of your EOTech through the three by. So we we're just trying to eliminate that. Now this whole thing just slides onto the rail and you can mount it wherever you want, but it stays together as a package. So the three by and the EOTech um, holographic site stay perfectly aligned, up, down, left, right, travel, everything's everything's pretty much perfectly uh, set up there. So this is the one piece low rise version. Then there is a two piece low rise version where basically your three by then gets clamped onto the rail by this a different means here. So onto the side, this would clamp on, screw down, but everything's pretty much the same. And then this is the five eighths rise version. So for those that like to have a little bit taller of a site, uh, particularly for, you know, we're doing a lot of pro mask stuff or you just want to be prepared for pro mask or, you know, it makes it a little bit easier if you have to look through your night vision through your day site for something, you know, if your laser goes down as a backup, whatever it may be. Some guys just prefer to run a little bit taller uh, of a setup. So we did a five ace rise and we have the low profile.